Everyone has concerns about the planet. We all want to leave it in a better condition for future generations to ensure it's clean and healthy. We all want to do what's best for the planet. It used to be called progress. Net zero, the green agenda. Yes, they all have good messages and encourage us to think, eat and be green. But are they really green? Are they really a good choice and beneficial for Mother Nature? And are they really the best choice for us humans? Hmm, perhaps not. Thankfully, the days of smog in city areas is a thing of the past. The air is cleaner without the smoke of burning coal. People's lungs are in a better condition. And there are now alternative solutions for energy and keeping warm. However, it may be time to move on from these in the same way as we moved on from fossil fuels in the past. Wind turbines seem to be everywhere. They're on mountains, hills, flat plains, and even out at sea, standing like silent triffids with their blades ever ready to catch the slightest breeze. There are so many of them that they need a small army to maintain them, so it appears that they provide jobs. These monsters have thousands of parts that always appear to be going wrong or breaking down in some form or another. It seems the bigger they are, the more they break down, with some of the biggest having rotating blades the same size of the wings of an aeroplane. After 10 years, many of the parts need to be replaced after being exposed to the elements of nature. These replacements are costly in both labour and technology. Perhaps Mother Nature is trying to tell us something? It appears she doesn't want them, either on the land or the sea. What happens to these metallic monsters when they need to be replaced and disposed of? They can't be recycled. They go to landfills. Yes, that's right. Large quantities of these rust buckets are buried together in the earth to rot and decompose. Except they don't. They just remain buried, polluting the land around their burial ground. Not green at all, and most definitely not a friend of the earth. Their correct name should be bird killers, because that's exactly what they do. It's estimated that up to half a million birds die each year from wind turbines. The taller and bigger the turbine, the more birds are at risk. Large birds, small birds, migrating birds, and even birds on the endangered species list are at risk because the wind turbines make no distinction, they just take lives. When bird numbers get low, there'll be no turning back as these monsters could break the food chain if left to continue. Wind turbines are the problem, not the solution. There are greener and safer energy options, and some of these options are available right now. Let's be the solution and not part of the problem, and let's go for a win-win for everyone.